Yo, what's going on guys? This is the 4th Gen Gamer bringing you guys a quick tutorial video here on how to get the high resolution DS emulator that you may see me using on my videos. And what this pretty much does is take some, as you can see on the preview page here, some, you know, pixelated, you know, parts of the game and renders them out to look a lot nicer, a lot smoother, and it just looks a lot nicer. So I'll include the link down below, just click on this link right here and then clink, clink, click the link at the top and it looks a little sketchy, but trust me, I've used it before, I'm using it right now and uh, at least, you know, right now is perfectly functioning. The top link is going to be the most recent one, at least, you know, you can see here it shows the dates right there and you will end up getting a zip file. So from there, you could, you know, extract it, you could just open up a new folder on your desktop, just name it DS, name it whatever you want and then just throw these into that folder. Now, one thing worth noting about this emulator that adds all the enhancements is that it is very demanding. You do need a very powerful computer to get the absolute most out of this, and if you don't, you may not get a lot out of it, to be honest, but the option's here. So anyway, open up the X64, that's probably the one that you'll want in all likely uh, scenarios, and you can see that, you know, it's, it's not really the what I'm used to at least seeing because none of the settings are loaded up. So I do have a video if you guys would like to check it out, I'll link it in a card and it shows my personal best settings for DS Mume. Not only my personal best, but just the best that I've ever experienced and uh, have researched online and whatnot. So change the settings and from there it should look something like this. This is the one that it's the same emulator and it is all tricked out already, it's all good to go. So here's the main setting that you're going to need to change to get that high resolution 3D modeling craziness that makes it look just so nice. So go to config high resolution 3D renderer and then these are going to be your options that will be able to change that. Everything else on here is pretty much the same as the normal emulator and you can do all the other settings the same. So there's disabled which is nothing different. It goes, goes to black if you don't have a game loaded up. You have X2, and then you have X3 and X4. So pretty much each level up is going to do more rendering, it's going to be more intense, and it's going to look nicer, but it's going to be more of a load on your, you know, CPU, your whole system. So with that being said, I'll give you guys some gameplay in just a moment here, and you guys can, you know, see just the difference. How much of a difference does it really make? And is that something worth doing? Something if you're a content creator, it may be worth checking out. And, you know, it's pretty simple. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. With that being said, you know, that's about that. If this tutorial did help you out, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you are are new and you know yeah I'll see you guys in the next video here's some gameplay peace